friends, this video on life processes part 25 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So with this, we will conclude our discussion on the blood vessels and we will now discuss in detail about the human heart. Heart which is the pumping organ of the circulatory system. Let us look in detail the structure of the heart. So it is the muscular pumping organ. It is located in the thoracic cavity between the lungs. So in the respiratory system, we saw that there are two lungs which lie in, in the thoracic cavity. Somewhere in the middle of the two lungs is present the heart, which is slightly tilted towards the left. So if you look here, you can see that the bottom of the heart is slightly tilted towards the side. The size of the heart is approximately the size of a human feast. So if you uh, make a punch with your hand, you can just get an idea about the size of the human heart. Weight of the heart is around 300 grams. I mean, you can get an idea about how much 300 grams is. The heart beats around 100,000 times a day, which is too much, right? Now we have got another important word here. The heart beats. Why does the heart beat? We all know that the heart beats. But what is the reason that the heart beats? Because so far we saw that, okay, the blood flows through the heart. The heart regulates or controls the flow of blood from lungs to the different parts of the body. But what makes the heart beat? So let us try to understand the cause behind the beating of the heart. So before that, we need to have a clear understanding regarding the structure of the heart. What all does the heart consist of? Let us try to understand the structure of the human heart. As I mentioned before also, it consists of four chambers, that is two auricles and two ventricles. The auricles are the receiving chambers, the memory tip being AIR, auricle is receiving and the ventricles are the pumping chambers, that is VIP, ventricle is pumping. Right, so here in this picture you can see the structure of the heart. This is the right auricle. Sometimes the auricles are also known as atrium. So atrium is another term for auricle. So this is the right auricle. This is the right left auricle. This is the right ventricle. And this is the left ventricle. Now the auricles are separated from the ventricles by coronary sulcus. So there is a groove like structure between the auricles and the ventricles and that is known as the coronary sulcus. Similarly, how are the auricles separated from each other? The left auricle and the right auricle are separated from each other by interauricular septum. So this interauricular septum actually separates the right auricle and the left auricle. Similarly, there is an interventricular septum which separates the left ventricle from the right ventricle. Now these four chambers need to be separated from each other, right? So auricles and ventricles are separated by a groove-like structure called coronary sulcus. The two auricles are separated from each other by interauricular septum and the two ventricles are separated from each other by interventricular septum. Now when we talk about the structure of the human heart, it becomes very important to talk about the valves. It is not only the four chambers which is present inside the heart. Other than the four chambers, there are four valves as well which play a very important role inside the heart. So what are these valves? These valves are nothing but they are regulators which control the flow of blood inside the heart. So these valves actually decide when will the blood flow from the auricle to the ventricle, when the blood should not flow from the auricles to ventricles. So the flow of blood is completely decided by these valves. So each valve opens one way and controls the flow of blood. So the Valves will open and close and their opening and closing will actually allow the blood to flow. So what are the four valves which are present? The first one is pulmonary valve. The name pulmonary valve came from the pulmonary artery. So it is present between the right ventricle and the pulmonary artery. So here if you see, this is the right ventricle, right? And where is the pulmonary artery? This is the pulmonary artery. So do you remember the structure which I uh, explained? Let us try to understand this with the same structure that will help you to understand it in a better way. Let us suppose this is the heart, 
divided into the four chambers. This is the right auricle, left auricle, right ventricle and left ventricle. This is the lungs and these are the different parts of the body. So from the lungs oxygenated blood comes to left auricle, from there it goes to left ventricle, from left ventricle it goes to different parts of the body. From different body parts the deoxygenated blood comes to right auricle, from there it goes to the right ventricle and from right ventricle it goes back to the lungs. Right? So now from right this pulmonary valve is present between the right ventricle and the pulmonary artery. So you see here from right ventricle to the lungs this is deoxygenated blood and this deoxygenated blood is carried by the pulmonary artery. So somewhere here we have the pulmonary artery. So the left right ventricle should be connected to the pulmonary artery. So now if you look at this picture this is the right ventricle and this is the pulmonary artery the purple colored structure. So you see the right ventricle is attached to the pulmonary artery and in between them there is this pulmonary valve. Clear? So this is one valve between the right ventricle and the pulmonary artery. Which is the next valve? It is the tricuspid valve which is present between the right auricle and right ventricle. So here you see in this deoxygenated flow, the flow of blood also took place from right auricle to right ventricle. So here also there should be a valve present. So between the right auricle and the right ventricle, this is the right auricle, this is the right ventricle. In between them this valve is present which is called the tricuspid valve. Why is it called tricuspid? Tri means three because it has three cusps. What are cusps? Cusps means nothing but flap. So these kind of valves have three flaps. So they are called tricuspid valve. So it is present between right auricle and right ventricle. Then the next one is the mitral valve or the bicuspid valve. Bicuspid would mean that it has two cusps or two flaps. It is present between left auricle and left ventricle. That is left auricle and left ventricle here. One valve has to be present because if you look at this picture you can see that the blood from the lungs to the left auricle. This is the oxygenated blood and who carries this oxygenated blood? Pulmonary vein. Right? Now this blood which flows to the body that is carried by the arteries and this blood deoxygenated blood which carries which flows from the body to the right auricle that is carried by the veins. So that means these are the gateways where actually the flow of blood has to be controlled. The flow from right auricle to right ventricle, the flow from left auricle to left ventricle and also the flow from the pulmonary vein to left auricle and the flow from pulmonary artery and the right ventricle. So we have valves at these four places. So now this bicuspid valve is present between left auricle and left ventricle. This is left auricle, this is left ventricle. So between them is present the mitral valve or the bicuspid valve. So the cuspid valves are present between the auricles and the ventricles. So between the right auricle and right ventricle, the tricuspid valve is present. Between right auricle and right ventricle is tricuspid valve, that is RTR. And between left auricle and left ventricle is the bicuspid valve that is LBL. So this is how you can remember it RTR and LBL. So RTR means right auricle tricuspid valve right ventricle. So in between the two right auricles and ventricles is the tricuspid valve. Similarly between left auricle and left ventricle is the bicuspid valve which is the fourth valve that is the aortic valve. The word aortic has come from the term aorta. What is aorta? Aorta is the largest artery in the body. Aorta is the largest artery of the body. So between the aorta and the left ventricle is present the aortic valve. That means this left ventricle and the aorta. So here also one valve has to be present. So wherever the outflow of blood takes place, there has to be a valve present there. Because see, in this case, the blood is inflowing, the blood is entering into the heart. So we do not need a valve. Again in this case, into the left auricle, the blood is inflowing into the heart. So we do not need a 
valve. But in this case, if you see from right auricle, it is going out into the right ventricle. So we need a valve. Again, from left auricle to left ventricle, it is going out. So we need a valve. From right ventricle, it is going out to the lungs. So we need a valve. Again, from left ventricle, it is going out to the body. So we again need a valve. So this valve is known as aortic valve. So if you see here between the right ventricle, between the left ventricle and the aorta, which is the aorta, this is the aorta the red colored structure which is the largest artery so if you see it is connected to the left ventricle and this is known as the aortic valve so these four valves together control the flow of blood inside the heart thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online test get free study material Find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.